Julia, I'm so sorry. What's the matter? I was expecting you to text me earlier. Did you just come back from work? Yeah. An accident happened at work today. Oh my, are you okay? I bet you had a hard day today. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I don't think I can visit you on your due date anymore. Huh? Really? I'm so sorry, Julia. I really wanted to skip work on that day, but I don't think I'll be allowed to. Okay. Don't worry. There's nothing we can do, Mark. The baby will always be waiting for you. Uh, I'm really sorry, Julia. I really wanted to be by your side when you give birth. Don't worry, Mark. My parents will be with me, so don't worry too much, okay? Your company rarely gets in these situations. Isn't it a rare case? Your company would usually allow you to go on vacation anytime you wish. There's a lot of employee benefits, too. Yeah, my colleague's mom had a stroke. He told us it wasn't a big deal, but apparently it was a pretty big deal. We can't let him work when his mother's in danger. That's true. He should go home to see his parents. Yeah, so I had to fill in his spot while he's away. I never know when I'll be in a similar situation too. I want to help him out during his hardships. I understand. It's important to keep good relationships with your colleagues. It's a bit sad that you won't be visiting, but I get it. I'm gonna give birth to a healthy, happy baby. Thanks a lot, Julia. I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. After situations get better at my company, I'll be sure to get at least a day off. All right, but be sure you drive safely, okay? Accidents happen when you're in a hurry. You drive when you work, and you're gonna drive here when you visit, right? Don't drive too fast even when you're in a hurry. Okay, I'll be careful. Oh, by the way, my mom contacted me the other day and told me that my sister came back home. Really? She used to work abroad, didn't she? Yeah, I thought she was taking a break here, but surprisingly, she's already working here. And she's going back abroad again soon. I really respect your sister. I heard she works as a nurse in poor countries around the world. That's not something everyone can do. In my sister's case, I think she just wants to visit many different countries. She loves experiencing new things. But she's making this world better by contributing as a nurse. Well, that's true. I almost forgot to tell you. My sister brought home some souvenirs for you. What? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Did she get me snacks? Yeah, I saw some snacks. But I can't send these to you. I can't let you eat these foreign snacks that you've never even tried before when you're pregnant. I love trying new snacks, though. You can always try them after giving birth. She also got you a weird ornament. So I'll send you a photo of it later. Okay, lol. I'll look forward to it. Be sure to tell her thanks on my behalf. Alright. I'm taking a bath now. Okay. Take a nice hot shower so you can relax yourself. <sighs> I'm getting sleepy. So I guess I'll get it bed early today. Yeah. Take good care of your body. See you tomorrow. Julia, have you been to the hospital? How did it go? I went to see the doctor as scheduled. And he told me that both me and our baby are completely fine. Whew. 
That's great to hear. Now I can finally focus on my work. Your job has always been stable. You worry too much, Mark. You never know what might go wrong. Your due date is next month. We should be extra careful. And it's your first time having a baby. That's true. But you worry too much. I'm the one giving birth, Mark. Of course I'm worried. That's the only thing I can do. You protect our baby in your womb while I'm just here waiting. I feel useless doing nothing. I'm glad you're considerate of me. But don't feel pressured, okay? You've been a great help at doing most of the housework for me until I left from my parents' house a few days ago. I'm really thankful for everything, Mark. My friends and neighbors were surprised by how supportive you were. Everyone envied me for having a great husband. Really? I just did what I could to help you. I bet you were tired coming home from work. But you were always willing to help me. I felt relieved, actually. Relieved? It's my first baby. And I've heard a lot from my friends who gave birth. All of them said it was hard to keep up with the housework while they were looking after their children. So I was really worried about becoming a mother myself. Yeah, they all seemed really busy and tired. But now I'm sure I'll be able to manage it with your help, Mark. I'm gonna be depending on you. You can rely on me anytime. I'll help you with housework and look after the baby too. I might be unable to sometimes because of my job, but I won't let you do everything alone. We're a team, Julia. Thanks, Mark. I'm feeling confident about becoming a mom. I'm so lucky to have you as my husband. I'm so lucky to have you as my wife, too. Oh, by the way, I'll be with you at your parents' house on your due date. Really? How many days will you be with us? I'm planning to visit you on the day before your due date, and I'll stay for a week. But I feel sorry for staying at your parents' house for a week. You're staying at the hospital for a few days after you give birth, right? You're always welcome at our house, Mark. My parents will be glad to have you. And it's not guaranteed that I'll be delivering the baby on the due date. It's hard to predict the exact date, especially for the first time giving birth. Oh, I see. So there's a possibility of me going home without seeing our baby? I'm pretty sure that our baby will be born while you're here. But we never know, right? But I bet our baby will want to meet me and hurry out of the womb. Don't pressure our baby. Sorry. Is there anything you want me to bring when I visit you? Anything you forgot to bring? Hmm, I have everything with me. My parents would get me anything I need anyways. I'm having the time of my life, lol. <sighs> That's good to hear. You said you were planning to meet some of your old friends? But have you met them already? Yeah, I went to see them on the day I came here but there was not much we could do except for visiting each other's house and going out for lunch because I'm pregnant. I bet they were surprised. You weren't pregnant the last time you visited, but look at your big belly now. The last time you went home was to participate in your class reunion, right? Yeah, that's right. But I was posting stuff about my pregnancy on social media, and my friend from the same class was also pregnant. We're gonna be great mom friends. That's great! 
You always wanted a mom friend. Yeah, I'm so lucky to have them as my friends. Oh, by the way, how's your work going? Are you on lunch break? Yeah, but I think I'll have to go back to work soon. I'm so sorry, I think I talk too much. No, don't worry, I, I was the one who texted you in the first place. I'll let you know when I finish my work. All right, work hard! Hey sis, did you call me? Did you have anything you wanted to tell me? Or did you just call me by mistake? I called Mark. What's up? Should I call you back? I'm a bit busy now. I'm on my night shift. Right, I heard you're already back to working here. By the way, Julia said thanks for the souvenir. Oh, tell her not to worry. I just got her some random stuff. I think you've already heard from Mom, but Julia's due date is coming up. So this time, I'll be eating the snacks you got for her. I'm worried to give her foreign snacks right now. I got her an amulet wishing for a safe delivery. Don't tell me that weird ornament was an amulet. I thought it was just a weird ornament you liked, lol. That's not what I wanted to talk about. Julia is back at her parents' house now, right? Yeah, that's right. How's... how's your relationship? Great as always. I think we're a pretty good match. Okay... W what What's the matter? Don't panic when I tell you this, alright? Why don't you get a divorce before she gives birth? Huh? What are you saying, sis? It's not a good time to joke around. You think I'm telling you this as a joke? So you really think we should get a divorce? Why? You're creeping me out. I don't want to tell you this, but the baby she's pregnant with is not yours. Huh? Or did you already know this? Did you agree to be the baby's father, although you're not blood related? S sorry, but what are you saying? I don't understand what you're saying at all. I'm talking about the baby Julia is pregnant with. Guessing from your reaction, you really didn't know about it. Be serious, sis. I won't be able to stay calm any longer if you make up any more of these ridiculous stories about Julia and our baby. Calm down, calm down. The hospital I'm working at right now is where Julia is currently visiting for her checkups. Huh? You're at Julia's hometown right now? It's really a coincidence. Uh, I completely forgot that this was Julia's hometown, and I didn't really care where I would be working for a couple of months temporarily. Okay. And? What did you find out about Julia as a nurse working at the same hospital? I saw Julia the other day at the hospital. And I wanted to have a couple of words with her, but she was with a man I didn't recognize. He might be a relative or an old friend, sis. It's her hometown. She has a lot of friends. Don't tell me you just assumed that she was cheating on me just because she was with a man. Of course not. She seemed really close with him, and they didn't seem like friends at all. So I pretended to be a random passerby and eavesdropped. Then, the guy said it was their baby. Huh? I was so shocked myself, so I don't remember the whole story, but... I bet they were definitely more than friends from what I saw. They were also talking about their class reunion. 
Are you sure about this? Yes. I'm telling the truth. And I'm pretty sure that she doesn't know about me working at the same hospital, so don't tell her about me. I work at a different department anyways. If we can keep this a secret, it would be easier for me to spy on her too. Okay. Mark, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just having a hard time processing the information. I understand. It was really hard for me to decide whether to tell you this, but I thought you should know. Yeah. I would have wanted to know too. I'll try to process the information you just told me and, and call again later. All right. But be sure to let me know before you contact Julia. Let me know how you feel about this, okay? I'll do my best to support you. I'm always here for you, Mark. Mark, you haven't texted me for a while now. Have you given thought about our baby's name? It's already been a week after I gave birth. I have to register his birth soon. Yeah. Isn't there anything else you want to say? You're acting weird. You've only visited the hospital once. And it's like you've lost interest in our baby. Sorry. You're just apologizing over and over again. What's going on? Are you busy with work? I heard that your colleague returned to work after his mother got better. That's true, uh, but... I don't think I can name the baby. I know it's hard to decide. So you want me to decide his name on my own? Yeah. Go on. Just do whatever you want. I don't think I can be his parent anymore. Huh? What do you mean? I thought you were happy to become a father. You can't just make me do everything. I can't accept that, Mark. I was ready to be a father, but I've lost all my motivation. Why? You don't make any sense. What are you saying all of a sudden? You're a terrible parent, you know that? I don't know who the real terrible parent is. I know that I'm not the real father, Julia. Huh? I can't believe you just said that. Why can you be so harsh on me? Is it because our baby didn't resemble you? But you know that the baby's face changes as he grows up, right? I don't think he would ever look at me, even if he grows up. I'm not the real father, after all. I know you've been seeing your old classmates since you went to the class reunion. Jonathan, was that his name? Huh? I'm with him right now. You have to be kidding. No, I'm not. He showed me all the texts you sent him. He seemed to be married as well. So I told him that I would tell his wife about his affair if he doesn't tell me the truth. It was easy to make him spill the beans. Mark, are you serious? You had an affair with him after meeting him at the class reunion. And I heard you've been meeting him every month since then. What... what are you talking about? I guess he made all of this up. I don't think so. He showed me all the proof, and the days you've been meeting him. Turned out to be the days you told me you were meeting your friends. That's a coincidence! You're not going to admit it? 
I saw you text him that you wanted to marry him, not me. You guys found out you were both in love with each other at the class reunion, right? Don't lie to me anymore, Julia. You can never understand how much you hurt me. I'm so sorry, Mark. But you're the father of the baby, and I'm not kidding. I thought about the possibility of him being the father, but I'm sure that you are the father, Mark. Considering the date I got pregnant, you're the baby's father. The day you had an affair, you also had sex with me too. I really respect you for your dedication, Julia. We even had sex after you came home from your class reunion. You really made sure so I won't find out about the affair, huh? No, listen to me, Mark. You're really the father. Sorry, Julia. I've already gotten the results from the DNA test. I applied for it when I visited to see the baby. And yesterday, the results came back saying that I wasn't the baby's father. Huh? You've already applied for a DNA test? Yeah. And that's not my baby. I'm sorry, but I gave birth to him thinking that it was your baby. I always wanted to become a parent with you. I'm honest. You have to believe me, Mark. I don't think so. I know you asked Jonathan to come with you for your checkups at the hospital. Did he tell you that too? No. My sister works at the hospital you visit for your checkups. And she told me that she saw you with him. Being lovey-dovey, holding hands with each other. I had to ask him to come with me when my parents were busy. It was only just once, believe me. My sister told me it wasn't just once, though. She heard your conversations with him as well. Based on what she heard, I don't think you have any feelings for me. I swear I won't meet him again. I don't care. You can meet him as much as you want. Just do whatever you want from now on. No, Mark, wait. You have to listen to me. What's going to happen to the baby? I guess you'll have to look after him on your own. Or you can discuss about it with Jonathan. I wanted to be a parent with you, Mark. When I found out that I was pregnant, I realized how stupid I was for having an affair with him. It was so hard for him, and I really thought about telling you everything. But with you... But with you, Mark, we could fight our way through this together. <laughs> Julia, I don't think I'm nice enough to do that. If I didn't know about everything and had started parenting, I might not have chosen to get a divorce. We don't have to, Mark. If you think that way, I know we can rebuild our relationship. I can't forgive you for keeping it a secret all this time, Julia. You're cunning. You knew I wouldn't be able to leave the baby if I'd already started parenting and made memories with him as a dad. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for what I did. I swear, I won't do anything like this ever again. Please, please don't leave me and our baby. You're understanding it wrong, Julia. I'm just leaving you. I don't have the right to leave the baby nor become the father of the baby. I'm not related to him at all. No, Mark, he needs you. I can't be his parent alone. I know that a kind-hearted person like you would be a great parent, even if he's not your real child. Have you ever imagined how I felt when I found out you were pregnant with someone else's baby? I thought I would never be able to recover from the shock I felt. All this time while we were eagerly waiting for the baby to grow in the womb, you were having an affair with your old classmate? Smiling innocently, like you were the perfect mother figure. Just thinking about it made me nauseous. I'm sorry. 
I'm really sorry, Mark. Apologizing doesn't make any difference. We're no longer a couple. Don't rely on me anymore. I guess it'll be hard becoming a parent alone, but I'll be asking for compensation money. So be prepared. I cherish people I love, but I don't care about others. After discussing with her parents, I was successfully able to get divorced with her. Of course, my ex-wife wailed not to leave her, but rebuilding our relationship was never an option for me. And in return for showing me all the text as proof, I promised Jonathan not to tell his wife about his affair. I never planned to do anything with him anyways. Nonetheless, after I left my ex-wife, she barged in on Jonathan and his wife, revealing everything about their affair. Jonathan and his wife did not get a divorce for their child. And after some discussion, he agreed to pay for child support. Fortunately, my ex-wife's parents promised that they would take good care of her baby. I can no longer believe what my ex-wife says but I want to believe what her kind parents tell me. Since the incident, I heard she's been avoided by her friends with all the bad rumors about her. I think she'll have to put up with the rumors unless she leaves her hometown. But I honestly think she deserves these hardships. I wish for the best of the child. After I got divorced and the situation got better, I felt worn out and became numb to everything around me. I have to thank my friends and colleagues for supporting me during my hard times. My sister invited me to go on a trip with her the other day, and the country I visited was not the best place to enjoy a luxurious lifestyle, but everyone seemed so happy living there. Affected by their smiles, I was also having fun in no time. After the trip, I think I was finally able to leave all my sadness behind. The trip did not exactly change my views about life, but it certainly did influence me to try out new things in life. I realized that there's a lot of people who support me in my life. I want to cherish the happiness I have now and try out new things, feeling anew.